Hey YouTube, so today is Friday, uh, the 24th, June 24th, uh, so I got off work a little early, it's like 3.15, 3.30, somewhere in there, and so I come over here to the 07 Pre, and I've desperately been trying to figure this thing out, okay, and so I've been trying not to have to pull the engine back out. But it looks like I'm going to have to. Because I found out some information today. So. I don't know if any of y'all know. But Daniel Smuts did my tune on the ECM. So. I sent him a message today. And I was like look bro. So. This is what's going on. I've got this engine. Like you know. You did my tune. You know what I have. So. You know. I now I've got a Series 3 in a block. With uh, took the heads machine shop, had everything done, new cam, like new everything, and so I sent him a couple of videos because I asked him. I was like, so, you know, like I did the timing. Everyone's saying check the timing, but I'm pretty sure the timing's right. And so I sent him the video, <laughs> and sure enough, he's like, bro, your timing is wrong. And I was like, but this is the same timing set I. I used for the first engine and he's like bro the timing set the timing gear has a dot on it you don't have to make your own dot and I was like are you sure so I got all my Google photos and went back to when I built the first engine for this car and sure enough it's got a dot so then I go back and I rewatch the video where I just put this engine together and sure enough, whenever you see the black dot and I start turning it over to make sure it's the time, you can see the dot. And I, I was probably just because I was holding the phone and trying to record it and do it at the same time. And I'm watching the screen and not actually watching the engine. And yeah, so I couldn't see that the dot went by at the time. I was just making sure everything turned over and it came back into time. And yeah, so... It's definitely, definitely out of time. And, yeah, you can totally tell in the the first engine, if you're looking at the timing set, like, at the front of the engine, the magnet's, like, up here. And then in the second one, whenever I built this engine, the magnet's, like, down here. It's, like, completely 180, just about 180 of where it's supposed to be. So, cam is definitely out of time. So... At least now I know what the issue is. I'm just, I don't know. I was either in too much of a hurry. I don't know. I, I could have swore I was taking my time and doing it right. Maybe it was just because I was trying to record and hold the phone and work on the engine at the same time. So I'm definitely going to have to focus and concentrate a little bit more. And I'm going to have to use this stand, which I broke it. So now I'm going to have to get a new one. And, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to have to use a tripod or a stand or something, or maybe even just get a camera and not be using my phone all the time. But at least now I know what the issue is. So now I have to drop the subframe back out at least enough to pull the timing cover off, which means the alternator and alternator bracket has to come back off because... The coolant elbows go into the timing cover and the lower intake. So the one that goes in the timing cover, it's going to have to come out. So I'm going to have to unbolt the whole alternator bracket, which means all the coolant has to come back out. So that's three gallons of coolant. i got to drain back out of here. But it's okay. It's just, I'm just glad that now I know what the problem is of why it's not starting. So, now that that issue is taken care of then once i fix the timing then this thing should fire up so all the push rods still look fine all that still looks great so that's what i'm going with now so not really much i can do about it today um i know this weekend i've already got a, a weekend planned out uh, like i said in one of the last couple videos my mom's car is broke down right now and can't really determine if it needs an engine or a transmission, but I know the engine's got about 400,000 miles on it, and the transmission's got like a little over 200,000 miles on it now, 
and the engine harness just has wiring problems and it keeps having shorts in the harness and so like I said I found a, a white 04 Grand Am GT uh, I think it was a four door it might have been a two door I don't remember but I got some some pictures of it I'll put them in here um, but yeah so I'm gonna go out to the salvage yard tomorrow which is Saturday and I'm gonna pull that whole engine and transmission with the engine harness and like I said the engines 300 the transmissions 100 and then like 75 or 100 bucks in core charges and then tax so it's gonna be like probably a little over five hundred dollars altogether but my mom's got 300 I'm covering the rest and you know I got to look out for my mama so I'm gonna go pull this engine and transmission tomorrow and then probably just take it to the house because we have the carport over there and then I'll pull my mom's engine and transmission out and I'll probably power wash the new engine and transmission before I put it back in her car but that's going to be the next video this weekend so it'll probably be uploaded like Tuesday or Wednesday because it's going to take me a, a day or two to to get that edited and uploaded so but yeah if you guys want to watch you know engine transmission swap on a Pontiac Grand Am it's going to be a 3-4 liter V6 so if y'all are interested in that check that out uh but for the most part i figured out what's wrong with the pre with the 07 so now i get to pull this back out tear it apart and fix the fix my mistakes so at least i know what the problem is now so i'm not as stressed out about it so at least now i can come over here here and just do some work get it done and get it fixed and then get it back in hook everything back up and we should be golden. So that's going to be it for this video. And I got to just finish loading everything up. I got to get the cherry picker taken apart and get it loaded in the back seat. And go from there. So y'all stay tuned and I'll catch you guys in the next one.